very interesting math question i welcome once more back to my channel okay now in this question please this is not drawn to scale and this is a square okay and inside this square a quadrant of a circle is inscribed please this quadrant starts from here okay yeah so this is the quadrant of a circle here okay and um this is a one and the area from here to here is also equal to from here to here all right the areas are equal now the question says we should find the area of this particular rectangle that is rectangle a b c and d we are asked to find the area so we are asked to find the area of this particular rectangle now let's call this remaining portion of the rectangle a2 and from b to d is equal to the radius of this quadrant okay so let r be equal to radius of the quadrant radius of the quadrant that means bd is r right okay now remember that to find the area of a rectangle now area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by the breadth right so in this case area of the rectangle is the length which is r multiplied by the breadth which is eight right okay now also area of the rectangle is equal to a1 plus a2 okay so that means that area of the rectangle is equal to a1 plus a2 which is also equal to r multiplied by 8. now you're going to have this in mind while considering this next option now if this is the first time you are seeing us like this is the first time you're coming across this lovely channel then it's time for you to hit that subscription button hit it very well yes <laughs> Hit the subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our videos. Yeah. So that anytime we upload our video, pew, YouTube will notify you that yes, JJ has uploaded a new video. And turn at your convenience, there must be something new for you to watch by God's grace. If you are a returning subscriber, if you have been here for me all this while, just know that I am grateful for your support, for your uh, advice and everything. Thank you so very much. Now, back to what you are doing so the question i was trying to say the next option to consider we have a quadrant and you can see that the area of the quadrant area of a quadrant is one over four pi r squared right which is equal to pi r squared divided by four where r is the radius of the quadrant now we can see that the area of the quadrant is also equal to a1 plus a2 can you see that a1 plus a2 so it simply means that the area of the rectangle is equal to the area of the quadrant since both of them are equal to a1 plus a2 therefore we can say that pi r squared divided by 4 is equal to a1 plus a2 which is equal to r multiplied by 8. now a1 plus a2 we don't have any value for that so using it to actually solve this is going to stress us so let's equate this to that okay so this implies that pi r squared over 4 <coughs> excuse me is equal to r multiplied by 8 
all right now multiplying both sides by four multiplying both sides by four we will have pi r squared divided by four multiplied by four is equal to r multiplied by eight multiplied by four so four we divide itself we have one one times this is the same thing pi r squared is equal to 32 r now let's divide both sides dividing both sides by r so we have pi r squared divided by r is equal to 32 r divided by r okay so when this divides this one r will remain and when this divides this nothing will remain so we have pi multiplied by r is equal to 32 now dividing both sides by pi because we need to get the value of r okay we are going to have pi over r is pi r over r sorry we are dividing both sides by pi so pi r over pi is equal to 32 over pi now pi we remove pi and we have that our r is 32 over pi now remember that the area of the rectangle is r multiplied by 8 right so it means that the area of the rectangle is 32 over pi which is our r multiplied by 8 so the area of the rectangle is equal to 8 times 2 is 16 8 times 3 is 24 plus 1 is 25 so we have 256 divided by pi okay so this should be our answer in terms of pi you can actually press your calculator and get this in in decimal okay so this is the area 25 divided by pi square units thank you so much for watching